another exotic bait for catching stumpies, pompano, bonefish, eagle rays is what I call the half crab. It's a lot more flesh and smell out there so it definitely attracts those fish a lot faster and a lot quicker. What we require for it again is either a cone sinker, a pear sinker if the sea is nice and flat, favo sui, that's a mustard, the Kingfisher Power Swivel Crane Combo, which is a five and six. Again, it's the smallest one that you can get. 16 kilo Kingfisher um, needle line, cotton, and a knife. Very simple. Take our Kingfisher line and just stretch it a little bit before we start. figure of eight just to join it a bit of lubrication there okay we're gonna make it about 40 45 centimeters again just on these swivels just to show you quickly the big R goes to your leader the small R goes to the hook so it's in a straight line Everyone keeps on asking me, how do you join it? to see different points. Basically, that's how you do it. It's very simple. Big one to the top, small one to the bottom, which goes to your hook. And then the sinker is the one that comes out on the side. Just attaching the sink uh, snooting here quickly. And what I like to do is just make it slightly longer. That should be it. Okay. Now, very quick and easy, the best thing we can do is to just cut it down the middle or we can try and take the shell off. Cutting it down the middle is most probably the easiest way, it does damage your knife unfortunately. So here we go. And as you can see there comes the shell off, and that part off too. There's all the flesh, all the smell in it. Very simple. Take that part of it and just lay it on top. It's giving me a hard time, yeah. It's alive. Okay, cotton. What we do, we just cotton this up. The back part of the legs, these little parts here, we just break off because you don't want to keep it too long. So you just quickly take those off. There's the pincher just to show you. That's the first part of it. I'm going to trim that off there. Okay, the second part, which is the big pincher part. Again, easiest way is just to put the feet together. Take off those little parts here, those little claws. Where is my chocker hammer? And then we lightly beat the big pincher. That part there. Just to start getting the smell going and the legs we just give a little bit of a knock to it there we go okay we take that part and we now put it on top like so with the smell part inwards always with the smell part inwards guys otherwise the little peckers eat it too quickly 
and the smell also dissipates too quickly in the water. Guys, let's make sure the cotton's out the way. Cotton's out the way, okay. And that is what the bait looks like at the end. Nice, smelly, hard bait so that the small peckers, carantine, and stuff like that can't get to it. I've caught stumpies on it, I've caught pompano on it, I've caught grunter on it. I've got eagle rays on it, duck bills, um, I've even got rock on it. And that's a nice bait to throw over any of our Durban beaches, as well as Vidal, Sudwana, any of those places, Zululand beaches. Very, very productive bait, very hard bait, especially like I said, if there's a lot of small fish around. Guys, if you're going to use exotic baits like sea lice or prawns or, or crabs, you need a permit. Make sure you get it from your local post office.